we have covered a lot of videos helping you to take great photos on your smartphones. But now in this video, I'll address some issues that we get after taking those photos and while we are sharing them with our family or friends. Now, be it events or holidays, we have multiple smartphones from our various friends taking photos and we often end up creating WhatsApp groups to share photos and we all know what happens to these groups after a few days and needless to mention that you have to settle for a less quality photos when they are transferred using these services. So in this video, I'll show you the three uh, best ways you can use to collaborate photos with friends and then save them directly onto your device. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. Facebook Moments is the best app and if all of your friends are on Facebook and they own a smartphone that is an Android or an iOS and the only photos are taken using the phone itself then this is the best app that you can go for. Thanks to the Facebook face detection algorithm the app automatically suggests which photos can be sent to which of the friends and then you can just tap on the send button. That's all. The person will get a notification on Facebook and he would have to install the app to receive all the photos directly on his device. Now the person can save all the photos directly and can even comment uh, which everyone in that group can read. Now, one of the things that's worth mentioning about the Facebook moments is that everybody should have the app installed on his smartphone, but the face detection technology and the auto suggestion is kind, uh, it's one of its kind when it comes to moments. Google Photos can be your next best alternative and they recently launched the shared album feature to collaborate photos with friends. After you have created a shared folder, it will generate a link which can be shared with friends to download or upload photos. The best part about Google Photos is that one can upload photos without any app using a browser on a computer as well. And thus it makes it easy for people with DSLRs to collaborate. Plus, you also get to make awesome animations and story out of all the videos that you get uh, in the collaboration. Now, last but not the least, we have the cluster app for those who are not comfortable with Facebook and Google. Now, you just need to create a group and then add the photos to share with your friends. Everyone will have to create an account to see and upload photos and this is necessary to maintain privacy and uh, the app is free and can be used on iOS, Android and even on a web browser and everybody will get uh, notifications when uh, somebody comments and uh, not to mention you can also upload videos uh, include, and not only photos while you are using the cluster app. So friends, those were the three ways uh, in which you can share and collaborate photos with family and friends. If you have any doubts or if you would like to recommend any of the apps you use, please do mention them in the comment section and do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. This was Ashish from Guiding Tech and I hope to see you in my next videos. Till then, take care and have a wonderful day.